If the only way you could calm the nerves of your son with special needs was a car ride, chances are you'd spend a lot of time on the road. And now one Cleveland High School class is trying to give his family another option right in the comfort of their own home. Sydney Edwards now joins us live to show us what they're working on. Sydney. Josh and Latricia, this isn't the first time that Cleveland High School Robotics class has designed something for a student with disabilities, but a car simulator to actually portray what the movement of a car feels like is a whole new project for them, especially when they know how much Hayden Cogdill needs it. He's a neat guy. He's a, he's a really neat little guy. Dee Cogdell says her son Hayden enjoys music, working with animals, and most of all, riding in the car. He does have some sensory integration disorder, um, so we believe that, that it appears that he gets a calming from the, the, the movement. But taking a drive isn't always possible. Last spring, we had a night where we never got him out of the van. So we slept in the van in the driveway <laughs> with him until about four in the morning. Um, we could not get him out. After hearing about the past work of the Cleveland Robotics class, Dee thought they might be able to help Hayden. Instructor Ben Williams says they were excited from the start. They've had to put themselves in Hayden's shoe. Uh, they've had to sit there and be a lot more intentional about thinking what type of sensory arises in a car ride. By putting themselves in Hayden's shoes, they've been putting themselves in Hayden's quote unquote car. The only thing that really gives them relaxation is driving in a vehicle. So the closer we can get to being in a real vehicle in his living room is the better. They're taking half of a salvaged car and figuring out how to make it move and fit into Hayden's living room. Motion itself is hard to actually simulate because you can't stay still and move at the same time. So with adding other factors like the wind, vibration, also looking, it could simulate a uh, simulate motion. While the seat is moving, Hayden will be looking at monitors all around him and using accessories made just for his needs. His mother said that he doesn't like things on his face, so we've been working on maybe using a, a helmet type idea to sort of keep it close to his face, but it's not sitting on him. Now, Ben Williams says they've started the Malachi movement, named after the first little boy who inspired the class to create such a device. And these students actually have four other projects that they're working on to finish by the end of the year for other folks in the, in, excuse me, in the local community that can help them with their disabilities. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Sydney Edwards, News Channel 9. Thank you, Sydney. Ben Williams also says they're still hoping to get a few parts donated to complete Hayden's car, but they expect the prototype to be finished in just a few weeks.